Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wally DM. Today's puzzle is going to take place maybe out in the middle of the wilderness somewhere in an abandoned temple or a former place of worship. The party's going to come into um, a room with an altar and what looks like a statue of a goddess. Now the statue is, is too heavy and there's no way to move it, but they can tell that a passage lies behind it. How do they get it to move? How do they get it to trigger? And what's going on with this altar in this room? Um... I have my own ideas, but I also got some really good ideas from the uh, good folks over at Reddit. So sit back and uh, let's take a look at the room of the vegetarian altar. This is the room of the vegetarian altar. And again, as I said in my introduction, I'm kind of going to go through what I had in mind and envisioned um, when I uh, came up with this idea. And then uh, we're going to go through some of the responses that I got on Reddit. And we had some uh, really creative responses. And, I, uh, and once again, I appreciate everybody um, uh, responding to my Reddit posts. So uh, our adventuring party enters this room. And in this room, it is... Uh, they come in from from the south here, so they come in this way, and this room is uh, just covered with vegetation. Um, it's humid in here, and um, I kind of envisioning this room as being outside, maybe a uh, a torn down temple where uh, there's no ceiling or an an abandoned castle or or something like that. So um, it used to be a building, and now it's outside. And that allows for a lot of vegetation to grow and uh, the humidity and, and things of that nature. So the, the, the whole front part of this, uh, this room is just covered with vegetation and uh, vines and things like that. And in the back here, um, we've got maybe some trees, uh, you know, small trees, um, vi more vines, um, and just some uh, really thick and maybe even some uh, nasty looking plant life back there. Now in the middle of this room here, or uh, more, more towards the north, is a wooden altar. And the behind the wooden altar to the north is a statue. And it looks like it could be of a goddess. So we'll go over possible goddesses for this room in a little bit. Uh, one more thing that the party's gonna recognize uh, right away in addition to all the vegetation, there is a lot of wildlife in here. Uh, there's either squirrels or rabbits or small mammals, and they are scurrying about. So once the party starts to look around and investigate a little bit, uh, these are the things they're gonna find. The the east and west wall, they're probably maybe only uh, two or three feet high, and, and they have some openings too. So there's probably more vegetation, more little uh, uh, woodland critters out here so they can actually come out here and you know you can put out there whatever you want uh, maybe some more little animal critters or stuff like that so um, again about two or three feet you know all this has been torn down over time if they uh, look around the altar I uh, and especially here in the back they're actually going to come across um, some uh, some old skeleton bones And these can be humanoid skeletons or something, but um, it, they don't look like they're undead at all. Um, they, you know, they're probably not even whole. There's just bits and pieces of them. So again, we have uh, back off and here's some skeletons. Um, but there's really no uh, woodland critter uh, skeletons. It's mainly uh, humanoid form. If they come and uh, investigate this statue, and, and I would do this on a low perception, uh, maybe a... Uh, engineering knowledge check uh, they can see that this statue will rotate or move out of the way and they might even uh, be able to detect that there's some gaps so they can see that there is a door behind here or a uh, opening and that is going to be the main uh, focus as to how to get this statue out of the way or how to move it so they can get beyond that if they investigate the altar they're going to notice some red stains on there what i what i would really like to do is to kind of maybe make the party believe that this is a goddess and she requires a sacrifice to get past there. And with all the woodland critters around there, maybe have them chase a couple around 
and see if they will uh, sacrifice uh, the critters on the altar. And if they do that, then the goddess is going to get pissed, and a bunch of these, uh, a bunch of this plant life uh, surrounding them is going to come to life, and they're going to have a battle on their hands. And we'll go over some of the possibilities of uh, what kind of plant life we can have in here. And again, the, uh, everyone on Reddit was very helpful with uh, what we could have in here. Now, the red stains are actually, it's not blood. And, uh, you know, we may try to lead the party to believe that it's blood. And, and of course, all this is with good knowledge checks. I mean, if they roll high on knowledge checks, you know, we'll... Uh, will help the party uh, solve it and figure it out. But it's actually not blood. It's actually uh, some kind of uh, 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 stains from vegetables. And again, um, some of the uh, suggestions were uh, grapes or maybe uh, some kind of tomatoes or pomegranates or something like that. Now, if the party were to come over here before trying to sacrifice any of the poor little woodland critters or come out here, Maybe we'll have a bunch of grapevines out there or, uh, you know, tomato plants or uh, pomegranates or things like that. And uh, actually, we may even have a couple baskets so they could grab the baskets, fill it up with the fruit, come back in here and um, and uh, pretty much just put the fruit and stuff on the altar, just smash it in. And uh, once they do that, the statue will rotate out of the way. And they'll be able to go on to the next room or uh, investigate the next area uh, of the temple and stuff. So basically, that's the idea that I had for it. So let's go. Uh, let's go next and just go over some of the other ideas that uh, the the good folks over at Reddit uh, put together for us. As you can see by the presentation so far, I had a pretty good idea how I wanted to run this uh, puzzle uh, slash encounter but I could really use some advice in finishing up. So I posted my ideas out on Reddit with uh, these three questions. Um, number one, which god or goddess would appreciate a sacrifice of uh, some kind of uh, vegetable or plant life? Number two, what type of monster or carnivorous plant could come to life if and uh, attack the party if uh, the god or goddess was upset. And number three, which uh, fruit, vegetable, or plant life should I incorporate that may stain the altar red, seeing that the, the main purpose of the puzzle is to kind of mislead the party a little bit to thinking that the um, the redness on the wooden altar is uh, blood as opposed to maybe some sort of uh, plant life. So here was my initial thoughts, and I apologize in, adva in advance. I'm going to uh, probably uh, say a lot of these names wrong, but here goes. Uh, the goddess that I had uh, Googled and found online was Njord, Lord of the Crops and the Seasons. I was thinking maybe Assassin Vines would uh, come to life, and my initial thought was maybe tomatoes or beets. Now let's uh, take a look at one of uh, a few of the responses from the uh, good folks over at Reddit. Uh, Big MC said uh, Dionysius, uh, Greek god of the grape harvest and wine. In fact, he went as far as to say maybe that the uh, the room has uh, a, a lot of, uh, you know, like uh, wine accents and, uh, and and grape vines and stuff like that. Uh, number two, uh, Berserk Satyrs or maybe a vineyard full of assassin grape vines would come to life, uh, tying in with the theme there. And then the third one, of course, you know, uh, uh, grapes um, and stayed, uh, quote, crush the sacred grapes to squeeze out the wine of madness. So some good ideas there. Um, TVS Robert said, instead of a god, maybe a primal spirit or a greater fae. Um, as far as answering number two, maybe awakened plants, dryads, blights, treants, or shambling mounds, depending on the players. And then the third one, he brought up a rare uh, type of plant life that is found just in the islands of the Indian Ocean called the dragon blood tree. So he's thinking either dragon blood tree sap or maybe if we wanted to go with something more well-known, pomegranates or raspberries. Uh, the real ROGL said uh, Shantae, the goddess of the harvest. Maybe a giant Venus flytrap that would suggest that would uh, incorporate a huge uh, bite attack, and then again pomegranates and raspberries, strawberries are brought up, um, fruits and uh, uh, things of that nature. Uh, Doctor Pila suggested maybe Sylvanus, god of wild nature, and again uh, uh, a vine blight or an awakened tree, and pomegranates and berries are once again recommended, and uh, he also went as far as to state that maybe. Um, within the area, we include different trees and different plant life with uh, maybe different colored fruits. So if they don't 
pick the right, the correct one, then the god or goddess would also get upset. So you could, uh, you know, maybe have some, uh, you know, peach trees or apple trees or things like that. So uh, great idea there. And just a couple uh, extra thoughts on the puzzle. Uh, L a h a r l two one nine said maybe include a wall that's uh, that's green, full of lively bushes and plants. And in one section, maybe the plants are dried or dead, concealing a secret passage. And Origami Samurai went into uh, a lot of great detail on his thoughts um, um, of how to incorporate this room with a, uh, a red moss that just covers everything and oozes like a red sap in a creepy, disturbing way. And then uh, the characters could experience short-term and long-term side effects, ranging from like hacking and coughing to, uh, I think he suggested maybe like a week down the road that uh, this thick red syrup starts draining from their orifices. So uh, some really, uh, really good ideas by everybody. And I will post a link to the Reddit thread where we had a discussion on that. And uh, I highly encourage you to take a look because uh, it really helped build on this puzzle and uh, give uh, different ways to present it. So that's the room of the vegetarian altar. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you can use it. And what uh, what would you do different? What are some of the ideas you have? Uh, comment below or I'll put a link to the Reddit thread. Go over there and take a look. Maybe uh, there's been some more replies since the making of this video. Appreciate you hanging out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. And on to the next. Mm -hmm.